there folks, it's a here. For today I'm gonna be playing more of the, the white day. Uh, playing on the double difficulty this time. So I have basically finished it before now to play it on this one. Um for this difficulty things uh oh hey Dan, what's going on dude? Um for this uh, difficulty, things are now to, like, they started to become different as uh, I'm going through the game and whatnot. Um, stuff like, uh, different sort of, like, um, things aren't, like, showing up as well. So there's uh, been uh, many sort of, like, changes as uh, I'm going through it. Um, but, uh, let's get into it and see where we can get to. <laughs> Okay, so I have this, I have that to use, I just, uh, I just go in there. So what I'm going to be doing now is because I have taken care of the um, the clock puzzle, uh, I think now I can go back to the, uh, the other area though. I'm going to check and see if I can go back. like we're kind of safe to go. Um, so before, uh, when I tried, when I tried going back here, back then, um, I was basically like in an infinite loop, uh, and I found out that I had to deal with uh, the clock puzzle in order to uh, come back to this area. So now that is out of the way, um, I can now come back here and work on some of the things. Um, some of them is going to be, uh, to figure out on what though. I also happen to have some of these that I need to, um, also, like, work on. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's uh, also this. Um, some of the, uh, some of those things are missing. Okay, this one I do not have. So I only have one of them, though. Not too sure where the other ones are. to figure out how to that.
Yeah, I'm not even sure how he did not see me though. Gosh. Like, I was right there. to the nurse's office, that's where I need to be at. Which is gonna be like all the way one. Let's see over here. Oh, what the heck? Oh, this seems different now. Interesting. Okay, so back like before, I only had the uh, the left lens that I was using, and I did not get to see something like this. So now this is different. So what it's doing now, it's actually giving me the answer for um, 
there's a uh, in the new building there's a uh, something that you can open and it's for that right here okay so the first one is gonna be let's see over here so it's gonna be a C and then two what's the next part a plane and this symbol over here so I'm gonna have to remember all of those um, okay let me, let me write these down okay, so what we have is okay, so letter letter C Three over here, and then and then have two. And then have two that. And then some sort of a like. It looks like, um, I'm not sure how to say the shape of that, but it's got like a line under it. Okay, so I'll just call it like an upside down V, like sort of thing with a line under it. Down the with the line. Okay. So yeah, let's let's have it like that. All right. So now that I got that. Yeah, see, it doesn't show up right here, but it's like, if you wear the glasses, it will give it to you. Alright, so now, I have to go all the way back on... Let's see over here, over here. I have to go back to the, um, that one thing. Shit. Uh... Oh, that's it. It was right here. Okay. And then get the, um, get that open. Okay. I remember the uh what shape it was. Okay, so the room is going to be down here. So that one puzzle. So like
Okay, yeah, I think I have to be in the chairman's office. That's where I need to go. That's it. Okay, let's see the checkpoints. The impassable bridge. Although it was early in the morning, the whole school was filled with uh, uneasy buzz. Uh, chill, chill men. A student uh, was found unconscious in the hallway. This. Uh, particular hallway was the passageway between the main building and the new building um, and it was rare, rarely used. It was built with an interesting design that puzzled all those who set eyes on it. Uh, its purpose was to be a bridge that connects one building to another but it was shaped like a tunnel with Florence lightning but not one window. This made it this made it seem creepy even during the daytime. What's more, getting to the other building wasn't a straight path but instead twisted and turned. All of that combined made fewer and fewer students use the walkway and, and uh, the less that people used it the more creepy the rumors about it became. One rumor said that while walking down the passageway, which felt like walking into a cave, there were sounds of footsteps either behind you or coming from the front. Either way, you would never seen, see anyone there. Another rumor said that if you enter this hallway in the middle of the night, you will never get to the other building, but instead get lost in a labyrinth of corridors until the break of dawn. The night before the accident took place, Chul, Chul uh, Min told his friends that he didn't believe in such a bogus story. Being teenagers, they dared Chul Min to prove himself. So Chul, Chul Min and his friends came to uh, school in the middle of the night. The test uh, Chul Min was given seemed simple. He only had to go through the passageway get to the other building and bring back an object from a classroom. Chilman wasted no time beginning this easy venture and quickly opened the door to the, to the passageway. He disappeared uh, into the darkness and the other and the door shut behind him. When Chilman was alone, he realized it was scarier than he had imagined. The passageway was out was without a single window, and all he could see were the small patches of light, like island in a pitch black sea. Shulman shivered and began to regret ma making his bet with his friends. When the sound of his footsteps echoed loudly in the empty hallway, it felt like something from the darkness would come running out of at him at any second. Chulman gathered together with courage. He had left and started walking as fast as he could. That's when something passed by him and lightly brushed his neck, making a metallic sound. His hair stood on and he felt like something was right behind him. Was he hearing things? He thought he also had heard a faint laughter. 
Chilman uh, clenching his teeth, bravely turned around. Nothing was there except a completely empty hallway. In darkness, uh, Chilman, who had been scared to death, was, uh, was a bit relieved. Until right at that moment, he heard a whisper. What are you doing here? Terrified, Chilman ran as fast as he could, screaming. It didn't matter how fast or how far he ran. He would never be able to make it to the building on the other side. At last, uh, Chilman suffered a panic attack and was knocked into unconscious. His, friend, uh, his friends, after waiting for a long time, all returned home. Everyone was worried for Chilman. Yet, no one suggested going to look for him. So, that's how Chilman was found, laying unconscious in the passageway the next day. From that day on, the students have called this passageway the, Im the impassable bridge or the labyrinth. So yeah, that was the, uh, the document that was inside there. Um, another thing I also happen to find is this over here which if you were to go back to the main building number two you can find something like this to uh to uh rearrange Out of healing items right there. Pretty much, uh, I get something like this. One of the rooms I have to take, like one of the hallways, will take me to uh, main, main building one. I'm not sure which one it is. But... Which one was that? Which one 
Go. Okay, so um, the way of how this works is you're gonna need those two keys in order to make this. Okay, so this can open my box.
can't believe how long this takes you for.
It turns out he's not really dumb. He's much aggressive than what he used to be for sure.
Okay, so I got that one. Okay, so apparently there's a lot of keys to this. And every one of them has different sort of uh, location to it. I'm not sure if it was Just see if I can uh, look up something about this.
Um, let me go here. Not so low, but quicker. Then see how the audio is. Right. Okay, what do we have here though? For that one. Okay, um, I'll be right back, folks. Just, uh, have to be a bit now for a minute.
Okay, let's uh, check this one document. I'll be getting to um, reading this one, but I'm just eating right now, so I'm sorry for the for the delay and everything. I'll just uh, mute my mic right here. Okay, um, let's see right here what do we have for this story. Uh, number 20, the missing token. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Um, let's see over here. Junk G was uh, heading home really late after a school club activity. He belonged uh, to the Mystery Research Club. They collected and studied all kinds of rumors, myths, and urban legends. The collection was not only from their own school, but from every city around. Lately, he was working on sorting through contents uh, for their sporadically published club magazine. At a busy time like this, the the club uh, the club's president was nowhere to be seen. Due to his absence, uh, Jung Jae, as vice president, had to do everything himself. That was the reason why he was heading home so late. Still preoccupied with his work, he was thinking about the magazine even while he was crossing the bridge. Just then, somebody spoke to him. Hello, dearie. I'd like to ask you something. It was a, a kind and warm-looking grandma who approached. Her... Her chick... Chick Noah... Chick non hairstyle and her bent back reminded Jung Jae of his own grandma out in the countryside. Right before he was going to answer her, he suddenly paused and wondered, why was this old lady as cool at this hour, uh, at this late hour? In that moment, he recalled a ghost story that he had investigated a while back. The building of Y High School was erected in the erected in the occupation era and was used as a refuge camp during the Korean War. In the refuge camp, there were lots of orphans who had lost their parents in the mid midst of, of war. Since the situation was so grim, no one really had the luxury of worrying about these kids. Then, some grandma took those orphans under her wing and took care of them. The kids uh, depended on her and got along with her well. The people didn't suspect anything of this grandma. Then one day, the grandma and the orphans suddenly disappeared. The refugees uh, thought it was strange, but as if they had, if they had previously agreed, they kept silence about it. It was a time where such things happened. A short while after that, a woman came to the camp. She was a mother of one of the orphans. The woman went through so much to find the whereabouts of her child and was finally here to reunite with them. When she heard of the disappearance of her child, she wailed with despair. The refugees who, who felt a little guilty about not having done anything about the disappearance of the orphans were finally moved to action by the woman's heart rent wrenching uh, frights. Led by a former hunter, a few refugees decided to help the women and search for the missing orphans. They followed the trail of the children up to, up into the mountain. When they got halfway up, they found an old run-down hut. They were greeted with the, the rotting stench of corpses inside the hut and found the hut was full of small white bones which seemed relatively fresh. It was said that they never found the old grandma. Jung Jae couldn't figure out why he had suddenly remembered that ghost story. Feeling spoked, he kept his mouth shut. Maybe it was the old traditional dress that the grandma was wearing. The old grandma who was pressing on Jung Jae with her question slowly revealed herself and her face twisted and turned into the face of a demon's. From her dark and empty eye socket, red light glimmed. She mumbled as she smacked her lips. So close. What a pity. The next thing he knew, he was waking up at his desk. He must have fallen asleep. While sorting out the materials, 
while sorting out the materials. Still, it seemed all too real to be just a dream. On the paper in front of him, there was a warning from the material he was reading right before he, he fell asleep. Never answer her questions. Oh boy. Now that's something. Okay. There's a certain room that I need to get to right now, which is the, the one in the front floor.
gotta figure out something about this one. Okay, so something about a, let's see, the Morse code. Okay, so what I have to do is I think Okay, so basically what this is for 
is one of the rooms in the um let's see over here So the the music appreciation room, the one that's on the first floor right there, that's where um this thing is needed for the uh, that part. So if you were to uh, decipher the Morse code, you use that uh, code for um, there's a lock that's inside of that room and it has like a lot of numbers to it so that's where this thing uh comes in right there Upside down clock and delium. His voice shall be the key to unlocking the secret of music. Okay, so let's see over here. So let's see, looking at this thing, let's count, okay so one, two, three, way how the the code is is when uh when i looked at it in that room it was from from uh i believe it was from one to nine like right there something like that but looking at this thing though there's like one dot, two dot, three, four, then there's five. So I'm not sure how this can be figured out.
Okay, so the way how to figure out the puzzle is each number is five stones. Okay, so what you need Okay, let's um let's see over here. Um examine the thing. So the way how it works is That one looked like it was So you don't count the lights, you only count the dots, which then will give you the code. Looking at the picture of that, it looks to be like the same one that I'm dealing with. I mean, I can try the, the code that they have over here and then see what sort of thing will be given from it though. Okay. Right, so, so now what I have to do is I have to exit from here and then get to the new building. Um, and then go to the first floor. Okay. Uh, let's see. In order to go to the new building, I have to go from... I think... The second floor I have to go for. That's what it looks like. So now I just have to go in here then. And then uh, I can open up the uh, that one thing, hopefully. Let's try try the code that I
Alright, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be heading to the rope then. Which I'm not even sure if this guy would let me do that. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> and then I get like a ghost attack. Wow. Yeah, you see, you see what I'm dealing with? This. I just have to be careful of this, um... I gotta be careful like around here because now I gotta be dealing with this mini boss. For one, this one, I'm not have to, uh... Which, I'm thinking... I don't have to like stay there. Oh no, not the floating head lady. Damn it. Yeah, floating head lady shows up uh, randomly though. I gotta be careful right here. Oh no! Don't look! Shit! That was bad. The only way you can go is, um, the only way you can go is if you were, uh, to find the, the right, uh, like, the right way, instead of, like, where it shows, like, an X. It's, a uh, bad idea to go for it.
not going too well. It is tricky to get through for for that one. Okay, I need to figure something out right here. in the world.
all that keeps following me is like going like back and forth, the same exact area. Nothing changes. Falling me, going backwards. One of the ways seems to be right.
Oh, I'm so damn close. I just need to get there. Nope, not that way. Okay, progress. Almost. Come on, what is it? I'm so, like, close. Yes, yes. Okay, there we go. I made it, finally. I'll suggest do that. Dude, it is not easy. It is not easy. You saw how many times like I died to this thing. Okay, now I go down here. There should be like um, an item in here somewhere though. They said that there there would be like some kind of uh like a key. I see the key, all I see is this. Okay, I can see something. I feel like it's um I feel like it's safe to let's see over here. Uh safe to like go back and then buy like one of the one of my civilian items though. Let me see if I can. Where's the uh trending mission at? Save spot, vending machine. Okay. Uh, one of the uh, healing items, and then save. Do that. Save over here. Oh my gosh! Yes, progress. All right, let's go. Bunnies, cheers! Min J winner. Trophy. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Just to kill me. 
dingus. As I tried to leave. As I tried to leave. Wait, did I even... Hold on. Give me, uh... It did not even load up the, the right save. What the heck, game? That was the wrong save, like, right there. Oh my gosh! Oh, yeah, 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 I need that. Okay. Really? Just... Ah. Dang it. I will get through this. This janitor sucks. He's the worst. How am I gonna get through this though? So bullshit! Gosh! Okay, I'm just gonna have to try another way though. I'm not I'm not gonna open up that, that door. I, I don't even care anymore. There is another way that I can go. Um let me just get to it. I need to be right here. That's where I need to be. There. You! What do you think you're doing there? Nobody ever escapes this school! Die! Now we gotta make a run for it. Remember the um, remember the thing that we saw back there, like with the switch. That's where I need to go. And if we had that door open, that would have helped us out.
đúng không? Chuẩn. GG. My child, I will always protect you. <laughs> Are you all right? Are you injured? Uh, let's see what I should say. I'm glad you're okay. Why the heck was she trying to kill you? She was babbling about her. What's the right way to say this, though? Her dead daughter, you mean? We don't have time for this. I just heard Ji Hyun screaming in the lecture hall. I have a bad feeling. I think So Young is going to do something desperate. You get to the lecture hall, and I'll meet you there. Okay. Right. Now to go to the, uh, that one spot. Okay. Time to get to the other, uh, building. Then basically, when getting to the to the next building, that would be basically the end part of it, right there. So yeah, this is uh, the end portion. Okay, let's see over here. What to look for? This. to maybe look around here though? Not sure. There's gotta be like one of the uh, places that I need to visit. Oh yeah, I think it, I think it was this. Uh, let's see, fire safety inspection results. Inspection location, Yangdu High School. Auditorium inspection date 310 doesn't Okay, so that just talks about the uh the uh the fire item thing. Okay. I gotta go now to. I have to go to the downstairs. Okay, how many of. How many of those do I have now? All I have is one? There. I know for sure that I picked up another one back there. I don't get it. So 
something's not right. Like, I remember picking up a, a coin. Or maybe that was just the one. Okay, uh, let's just get to... Let me just save over here and then continue. <laughs> Doors are closed. So let's just go to the yard. that I just got this night. And then the other one is gonna be like this. Okay, this is actually what we want. And this is why this is what I use to come up with. Dead. I need to 
have to like be in the There's that one item right there. What... what happened? Did you save my life? Yeah, um... I'm okay. Don't worry. I'm sorry. I don't think that I can walk right now. My ankles hurt. I'll wait right here. Can you go and find Songa? I'm scared for her. I'm really... well, I think I'm alright. It's all right. Wow, it feels a lot better. This is great. Where did you learn to do this? Mm, do you want to sit? The others are fine too, right? I hope they come before long. I really want to get out of here. That's it. That's for the white day though. Through the sky, sunshine reminds me of you. When I see your eyes, my heart falls to Okay. 
Okay. Could I be getting like another ending? I'm not sure if I can though. I'm gonna see if I can uh, get another ending though. have I been going for? Okay, so... Yeah, I can... I can try to... work on getting the other ending, though. I'm not sure if I can get it, but I'll try. No. Oh, okay, I, I see where I have to go.
I just have to be like doing this on a good time now, you know. Have it where doing tags and whatnot. Had a good luck at the first try, but then it's like, nope, not anymore.
Okay, that was good. That was good. I just have to make sure not more room. Then I'll go for the uh, other thing. That's that one. I'll go over here. been alone anyway. <laughs> what? I thought you were going to find Song Ah. Okay, so now that is this part is done, let's go to the uh the next one. the uh thing okay so now that I have the stone on me I can use it for that one door. Himin! Hey, Himin! Himin, wake up! What you looking for? <laughs> it's fine. It's all over. I think that Ji Hyun is hurt. Let's go outside and try to call for help. Come on! What's wrong? Aren't you coming? So that was the other ending that I got. That one would be Through the sky sunshine the reminds me of you. Nice. When I see your eyes my heart falls to Don't leave. I'm still in here. Wait, what?
What's wrong? What is it? Something wrong? Then let's hurry up and go. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's about it. Let's see which, um... Okay, that's why I've gotten close. Oh, what the heck? The, the whole thing was all messed up. That was weird. So I still need to do the other challenges. Oh well. I'll uh, do this another time. Maybe I'm gonna have to start all over and then work on the uh, the right choices here and there and then see what kind of uh, other endings I can get. Like because um overall there's like about I would say I think ten to I think there's like 10 endings all together, like overall, so yeah, um, well folks, I'm going to be calling it here, thank you guys so much for watching uh, for today, um, sorry for anyone for stopping by at the end and all that sort of thing, um, basically for today I finished uh, the game twice and I uh, got like two different endings. So, yeah, I'm actually, like, happy with how the, um, the end part was. It's, like, basically going with, uh, one of the characters and then going with the other. But then it's, like, it was differently, like, you know. Um, I thought I was gonna end up with, uh, the other one when, uh, let me see, like, over here, though. I thought I was going to be ending up with the, the girl on the right, but I ended up with the one in the middle and some kind of a different way um, on there. So, yeah. Um, other than that, I'm going to be rating someone for now. Let's see over here what we're rating. Um, let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Gonna be waiting for me to be. Let's see over here. I think, uh, I think I know someone we can read. Um, I'll come back into the, uh, I'll go back into the streaming again, I will see on one on that though, maybe, uh, 
for on Friday perhaps. I will see about that. I do have wrestling to watch around 5 p.m. So I'll see um, if I can get the chance. Um, like if I was to, you know, stream like early or whatever, I'll try to see how that goes and then let you guys know on that. Um, or maybe Saturday, who knows. But uh, yeah, I might switch it up to another game. I might have something uh, that I can, you know, play with and then show from there. I do have a game that I've gotten from PS Plus. It's uh, some kind of a underwater like ocean game. Uh, I will be showing that one uh, maybe on Friday or Saturday. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, folks, you all take it easy. You all have a good night, good day. And uh, yeah, that will be it for me, folks. You all have a good night. See you then. Take care. Laters.